Hey class, this is Dr. Willis. I do apologize for the late announcement for Module 8, uh, but first, welcome. Uh, welcome to Module 8. Uh, as you can tell, we are blazing through uh, the course and also through the research process. So uh, I'm extremely proud of your efforts thus far. Uh, module 7, uh, we got to dig a little bit deeper into the research process uh, to discuss your uh, results and conclusions of your initial source. Uh, the previous week, we talked about uh, the research questions and the methods. Uh, so we've completely analyzed one source. So uh, if, if you're still struggling with the research process, please do not get discouraged. Uh, we still have time. It's still three weeks left in the course. So anything you've submitted, uh, if you hadn't got a proper grade on that, you can always resubmit. Uh, if you hadn't found a great source, you can always resubmit that as well. So please don't feel discouraged. Uh, don't feel like you're behind. I am here to work with you, uh, to help you, <clears throat> to make sure you stay connected uh, and you get through this course uh, with a sufficient grade and especially get through the research process. So um, thank you so much for working so hard thus far, uh, especially for your efforts last week in Module 7. Uh, we are still missing a few of those assignments from some people, uh, so please let's work to get those in. All right, but Module 8. Uh, module 8, we continue along the line of the research process. Uh, and I'm going I'm to pull this up on my computer because I have a few things I want to say uh, from Module 8 that I don't want to forget. Uh, but we're continuing along the line of the research process. Uh, we have uh, this module, um, and then we have Module 9, and then it's going to wrap up in Module 10. Uh, but Module 8, uh, we're jumping in uh, to viewing another source uh, in the discussion board. It's going to ask you to find one more source uh, that's related to your topic. Uh, and within that discussion board, it's going to ask you to post the title uh, of that source and, ho and a link. If you can provide a link uh, to that source as well, please provide that. So we want you to write your topic, reset your topic, uh, post the title of that new source and maybe the link if you have that link and under that uh, you just want to talk about the methods you use to find that source where did you go what platform did you use what were your what were your keywords that you searched did you use google scholar did, did you use the shapiro library talk about all those things within the discussion board and of course you always want to be thorough you want to be detailed or you want to get your point across but you want to make sure you're staying within the parameters of your um, of the paper requirements and of course you want to respond to at least two peers and you want to do everything in your power to follow those response instructions and of course the initial post is going to be due Thursday by 1159 you have to respond to at least two peers uh, by Sunday at 1159 and that's going to wrap up the discussion board uh, for this week uh, and we also have a paper uh, we have another paper for module 8 uh, and in this paper is going to ask you to, to do a few things uh, it's, it's not research specific, uh, but it has to do with your topic uh, and your general take uh, on your topic. So it's going to ask you, uh, you know, what were your initial reactions uh, when you chose that topic? Uh, were you excited about it? Uh, did you think you were going to be able to find the appropriate amount of sources? Uh, were you a little nervous? Um, talk about that. You want to talk about um, how your initial reactions changed after you, after you evaluated that first source. So after you did the analysis, uh, basically now, how are you feeling about that source? Are you still excited about it? Do you realize that you may need to change some things? Do you need to reword the topic so you can find better sources? Um, what are the major themes of the first source? So basically, uh, what you did in the first in the one of the first analysis, you talked about the research questions, or you talked about the purpose of that article. Here, you can kind of restate that. You want to talk about what were some major points of the article and were those recurring themes? Um, are there any additional questions that you need answered uh, based on the source you use? Um, and do you agree or disagree with the author's position? So this is basically your perspective of your topic and of the first source you use. So this is a, a really easy paper for you. It should be a really easy paper for you uh, since it's your opinion. Uh, on the topic and on this main source. <clears throat> and of course, that paper is going to be due Sunday by 11.59 p.m. Now, lastly, if you have any past due work, we're kind of wrapping the term up. We have, a, we have about three weeks left. I think uh, March 26th is the last day of the course. So we really want to focus on getting all that past due work in 
if you have that. Remember, the only thing you cannot make up are discussion board assignments. So if you're missing anything from module one to module seven, uh, anything that's paper related and you want to submit that, please do so. OK, I'm happy to go back in and grade it, um, but it's up to you to get that in. OK, uh, that's really all I have. I really want to say uh, don't get discouraged. This is a time in the class where people kind of start to fall off a little bit because the research process gets a little difficult. But don't get discouraged. I am here to help you. Mr. Scott is here to help you and whoever your advisor is. I know they're in your corner. So please stay the course. Be consistent uh, and just don't give up. All right. We will talk to you later. All right.